Now, while it is an exciting sight to see, the surf, of course, can be dangerous. On Oahu, lifeguards rescued 24 people on the North Shore and nine on west-facing shores. And on the Big Island, a man was rescued after being stranded atop rocks at Leke Leke Bay due to the high surf. Ocean Safety is urging the public to be especially careful as it continues to deal with staffing shortages. Nikki Schenfeld continues our coverage. It's definitely a no swim week here on the North Shore with wave heights already topping out at about 30 feet face value. And it's going to remain about this big all week long. And with so many people coming up to check out the large surf, lifeguards have already been extremely busy. Winter surf has arrived, drawing hundreds of spectators and surfers to Oahu's North Shore. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Waimea Bay. This is what a larger size set looks like here in the shore break and as you can see it does wash up over that fur so there is a reason that we need everybody to stay up in this dry sand and away from that nice inviting smooth wet sand most beachgoers stay behind the caution tape as the swell continues to build throughout the day a lot of times you know people come out and it actually doesn't look that big. It can be in between sets, right? We have a uh, big surf with long lulls sometimes, and people don't realize exactly how dangerous it is until those big sets come in. They can be swept out in an instant, and it's not just beachgoers who need to be careful. We're asking surfers to please know your limits. North Shore surfer Levi Kim paddled out to Waimea early Sunday morning, but was one of several surfers coming back to shore with a broken board. I was super confident I was going to make it, but then the set, it kind of um, shifted more towards the right, and I totally just airdropped, and I felt myself skid down the wave, and then about five seconds later, I just felt the lip crash right onto me. It's pretty heavy out there. Um, there's a lot of people out there. You, as you can see, there's at least like, you know, 30 guys out there. Um, super crowded. Um, safety is a must. So impact vests and, you know, make sure you're an experienced surfer. North Shore lifeguards had an early start Sunday morning. We've had a few um, calls. We had a missing surfer this morning off of Puana Point, and luckily he was found and everybody and, and he was okay. Ocean safety has been faced with staffing shortages due to the Omicron variant, but officials are hopeful guards will remain healthy throughout the week as back-to-back -back extra large swells hit. Fortunately, today, with the dangerous conditions, we have all our towers open and we have a full staff. Anyone coming to the North Shore this week is asked to stay behind caution tape and not to go on wet sand or rocks and stay at guarded beaches. Because if you do get into trouble, you're going to rely on a mobile responder, and that can take uh, some time. So we're asking you to please, you know, uh, keep it at a guarded beach. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHO2 News, working for Hawaii.